Hello everyone, Daniel here. In this video, we're going to cover the rotation side of OpenKJ. Now the rotation is your list of singers that you work through throughout the night. As you can see, the rotation is located on the left-hand side of the UI, and down below, you'll have some control buttons. This button here, the little broom icon, is used to clear the entire rotation. So that's usually used at the end of the night uh, if you have a few uh, singers left over and you just want to clear them all together. The next button is the Add Singer button, which will bring up the Add Singer dialog. The button next to that is the Regular Singers area. So if you had regular singers already in your system, you could click that button, pick the regular singers you wanted to add and add them into the rotation. The next ones are how to move your singers up and down throughout the rotation. So the double up and double down simply either moves that singer from wherever they are to the top or from wherever they are to the bottom. And the singles just moves them up or down one slot. So to get started, let's add a singer in. Click the add singer button and then type the singer's name in. Now in this case, I'm going to choose fair at this point in time. I will cover what these positions are. Let's add another one in. And then another one. And we'll do one more. So as you can see, we have four singers in the rotation now. David, Sally, Lisa and Mark. You'll notice that they have a grey dot next to their name. The reason for that is they don't currently have any songs in their queue. When they do, that dot will turn green. To add a song to a singer's queue, it's very, very simple. Highlight the singer that you want to change, go over to your karaoke library section, find the song that you want to add, and double click. You'll then see the song listed underneath the singer's song queue. You'll notice now that David also has a green dot next to his name, indicating that David has some active songs in his queue. We'll do the same for Lisa and Sally and Mark as well. So now they all have green dots next to their name. If you want to add more songs in, highlight the singer and each time you double click, it will add some more songs in. If you wanted to remove a song from a singer's queue, very simple, highlight the singer you want to change, go over to their song area and click the little trash can icon next to the song you want to remove. If you want to rearrange the songs in a singer's queue, very simple, Highlight the singer you want to change, go over to their song queue, highlight the song you want to move, and use the arrows to move them up and down. If you want to change the singer's position in the rotation, simple, highlight the singer you want to change, and then use the up and down arrows to move them throughout the rotation. If you wanted to move David directly to the bottom, highlight David and click the down, the double down arrow, and it will move him directly to the bottom. Similarly, if you want to move David to the top, highlight David and click the double up arrow. To highlight the next part better, I've added some additional singers into the queue. You'll notice at the moment, this column on the left is blank. We only have the name column, then the regular singers and trash can icon. We have some more columns that we can display in the rotation. To do that, go to tools, then click settings. Go to the rotation tab, and you have some tick boxes here. Show current position in the rotation list We'll put a number next to the singer's name. Show singer's next song in rotation list. We'll add an extra column and show whatever the next song for that singer is. Then click on close. You can see now that we have the slot numbers next to the singer's name, the singer's name, and then the song that they have coming up next. There's currently two methods to work the upcoming singer in the rotation for OpenKJ. The default is to have the current singer work its way down through the rotation as the night goes on. The second is to keep the current singer at the very top of the rotation. And I'll show you both methods now. We'll start with the default method. So you can see here we have nine singers in our current rotation. To start the rotation, I double click David and it will start playing David's very first song. Once David's finished his song, I'll simply double click Sally and it will start playing Sally's song. You'll notice that the numbers have changed. So Sally is the new current singer, and then Lisa is the next, and then Mark after Lisa, and so on and so on. You'll notice that David now has an eight next to his name. That's because in this list here, David is now the eighth singer 
and is in last place because he was the original first singer of that rotation. So let's keep working our way down through the rotation. So Sally is the current singer. She's just sung her song. Let's move on to Lisa. Lisa sings her song. We'll move on to Mark. And then so on and so on. As you can see now, David, Sally and Lisa still remain in their original spots, but the system has tagged them with different numbers because, in this case, they are the 6th, 7th and 8th singer in the queue at the moment. The second method is to keep the active singer always on top of the rotation, and I'll show you how to do that now. To activate this, go to Tools, Settings, then the Rotation tab, and tick where it says Keep the current next singer on top of the rotation list and then click on close. To start this, double click the first singer. You'll notice that it's now David, it's playing David's song. Let's go to the next singer, which is Sally. And now Sally has been moved up to the top. If we double click on Lisa, you can see that Lisa is now on top and Sally is down the bottom. If we go to Mark, Mark's empty, so we'll skip and go to Yvette. Yvette is now on top and Lisa is down the bottom. Out of the two rotation methods, please choose the one that works best for you. Personally, at my shows, I choose the default option as I like to see the current singer working their way down through the rotation. Another thing that I do at my shows is I actually set a rotation change point as an additional singer entry. And that's just a visual cue for me to know where I'm gonna change that rotation. So to do that, I click on add singer and I just type in rotation change. And then I'll put that at the bottom. This now tells me from a visual perspective that that is where I'm gonna change the rotation. So as I start working my way down the queue, as I go from one singer to the next, to the next, once I get to the rotation change point, I know that I can start at the top again. Also, the rotation change entry will appear in the ticker message, so your patrons will also know that that is the rotation change point. The last thing I wanna cover in this tutorial is when adding a singer to the rotation, what position and how are they put into the rotation? We have three options to choose from. Click on add singer. You'll see you can choose from fair, bottom or next. So let's say we wanna add Mark into the rotation. Position fair will put them at the very end. In this case, Yvette is the current singer, still working its way through the rotation, and Mike is the last singer. So in the system's eyes, fair would be to add Mark after Mike. If we choose add again, let's say Mark again. This time, we wanna add him to the bottom of the rotation. So you wanted to include Mark in this rotation before you did the change. You select bottom, click OK, and in this case, I would just move the rotation change point down. The next option, we'll add again, say Mark, very self-explanatory, simply if you wanted to add Mark next, click OK, and now Mark will be the next singer. Once you get to the end of the night, if you find that you need to clear out your rotation, click the little broom icon, click on yes, and now your rotation has been cleared. So that brings us to the end of the rotation tutorial video. I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you in the next one.